I'm going to explain a ring counter. I'm using here IC7495, wherein 1 is connected to the input, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13 are connected to the output. Here 8 and 9 shorted together to the together to the clock. 6 which is a mode. I have shorted to 7, 7 connected to the ground. Here I am not using mode because I am not using parallel input, only serial input I am using. So mode can be connected to 0 forever. Now what I do is, I will load 1. It gets loaded on the application of 1 clock. I return input as 1, apply 1 more clock so that 2 are loaded. Now I remove input. Because I am now converting serial in parallel output into the ring counter. So the last stage that is output 10 is connected to the input. Rather than input switch, I am connecting input to the last stage of the output. So that will feedback. So now it's here, the 2 should shift here on one clock. And the 2 should shift here. Then this should go here. And this should get to the end on next clock. Then this should shift here and this should shift forward. So like this, uh, the ringing operation will take place in the output on every clock. Thank you. Now I am going to explain Johnson counter using IC7495. The output is fed back to input this time using an inverter. IC7404 is used as an inverter here. So feedback is given through inverter. The 10, output 10 of uh, 7495 is applied to one of the inverter. 2, that is the output of inverter is applied to the input of IC7495. That means the feedback path is happening through an inverter to the input of IC7495. Let me explain the operation part of it. Now, zeros are the, zero is the input. I am loading only zero, so that you have got zero, 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 zero. So, zero is fed back here through inverter means that gets converted into one after not operation or inverse. So, here zero will go to this stage after the application of one clock. So, this zero went here. Through inverter, so 0 became 1. Now this enters this, this will shift here after another clock. So this got inverted and the previous one shifted here. Now these two will shift here, this 0 will become 1 here. So this 0 became 1, the other two, previous two shifted here. This 0 now goes to this stage after getting inverted. So this is half of the cycle now. Now, one should go to this after getting inverted. Then this one goes here after getting inverted. Previous zero got shifted. This one goes here. The two zero shifts here after a clock. Then there is one here. These three zero shifts here. This goes here after getting inverted. So all the outputs have now become zero. Thank you.